All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of I Love Fishing. As you guys know where I'm at today. Had a very cool lake I've been here a few times. Let's see if we get anything today. Just a quick outing to get the fish itch off. And uh, got a cool lure that I'm going to try using today at this place. So we'll see if we can get there. Waiting for my co-angler to show up. So I'll see you guys in a second here once he uh, shows up. All right, guys. So today's bait of choice is going to be these cool bream crankbaits. These are from Real Distractions, R E E L Distractions.com. And they are five cool uh, bluegill panfish color type crankbaits. So these are some really cool looking cranks. I haven't seen these style before. And they're, uh, you know, very unique, but they look really legit. And there's different five colors, and these go for $28.99, I believe. Let me double check real quick here. Yep, $28.99 for a pack of five. You can get all same colors, or you can do, you know, different colors like this. So, choice is yours. They have different patterns. Uh, I believe they do have more options to choose from besides these colors here. So, be sure to check them out. RealDistractions.com. They're also on Facebook. So again, R-E-E-L, distractions. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get on some fish on these cool guys today. I'll just be uh, trying to throw these out and see if we can land some big ones, hopefully. As you guys know where I'm at, that beautiful sunset lake again. And it's still very clear, but the water has dropped big time. Very, very huge loss of water. So, but we'll see. It's cold, it's uh, officially uh, fall today. So let's see if we can get us a fall bite. Usually fall bite is when everybody says that's when they catch their PBs. So let's hope that can be what uh, we do today. And uh, see you guys in a second here. All right. So I'm going to choose. Uh, I think I'm going to go with. Uh, let's see. I'll go with the cool pumpkin seed sunfish looking kind of guy. And the plan is to just yeet this thing into this nice little oh, five foot kind of area. I'm hoping that uh, with the dying veggies and stuff like that, uh, that's going to, you know, be bank for guys looking for little sunnies and stuff swimming through looking for bait fish. So that is the current idea. Not sure that's going to work, but that's what I'm going to do. Got my co-angler, Mr. Cow, here now. So, let's see if he can get in some fish again. He usually always does. That's, uh, all right. So, that's set. Uh, check it here. Give it a good crank here. See what happens. Weed. Yeah, got that cool swimming action. So let's get out here into the nicer, deeper area here. Maybe they don't dive too deep, so that's good. Good to use on shallow areas and casting towards the shoreline. We've got a couple chasers there. Looks like little little something chasing it. Mm 
hoping uh, I don't see a pipe. <laughs> As you guys know, pike usually do find me. I don't want to find them, but they find me. Nice rubber band. I wonder why it uh, feels a little bit weird. There you go. Much better. Okay. Cast out and let's go. Come on, Mr. Bass. Come say hi. came up chasing something right here hopefully it was a pike no don't be a pike it didn't look like a long body he's chasing something here all right as you guys know this is my top water video lake let's see if it still holds true even for the fall. My frog is kind of big. This is a bigger frog, but we'll see. Might not get to use those cool bream crankbaits, but I'll give this a try. Oh, my line rip. What the frick? That was a pike. Wow, yeah. That sucks. Huh? Small. Our small, small dudes. What'd you say? Whoa. That's got to be a pike. It is pike. That dude launched like a missile. Oh, he just swallowed this thing. Oh no, he got cut now. Good job, dude. Oh wow. <laughs> he managed to get caught with the crank too, dude. He flew into the crank. And the crank caught him right in the mouth. Okay, not sure if I captured that, but I got a pike. We'll see if we can get a bass on this cool bream crink bait. I have a feeling if I get anything, it's gonna be a pike. I did miss one or not let him. I did not set hook on one a bit ago, but I wasn't recording. I saw him swipe, so I thought, oh, don't set. Hmm. 
another pipe. <sighs> Pike City. Hold on, bud. You bought the KVD ones, huh? Oh, Terminator ones. Okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, Walmart or. Oh, bike. I didn't get to set the hook that good. No, he's in the bush. He's in the weed. Oh, oh yep, it's Pike. Ah, just Pike City. These guys are just everywhere. Come on, buddy. I don't want you. Door man. All right, gonna try a different color here. We'll go with the white. Look like a white crappie-ish looking kind of guy. See if we get some color flashing around here. Again, these are from realdistractions.com and Real Distraction on Facebook. Check their social media. They do have lots of other products too, like I mentioned earlier. So be sure to check them out and uh, give them the support. Small business are always good business to support. So be sure to check them out here. Let's see if I can crank this away and hopefully I can uh, not get a pike. So far all I've been catching is pikes. Kyle's been catching small little guys. He said he lost a couple decent ones on the spinner. I would imagine spinning is the spinner should be pretty good. Yeah, we'll continue here and see how we do before it starts to get dark right here. Oh, got one. Don't be a pike. No, it's a pike. I saw the tail. And it is a Mr. Pike. Similar size I've been catching all day today. Okay, got got a fish on this cool bream crank. Let's see if I can successfully get it without the line snapping and losing the crank. Okay. Not the fish we wanted to see, but a fish nonetheless. Yeah, where is it? Hold on, bud. Okay, so first fish on the cool bream crankbait is a pike. All right, buddy, don't tell your friends not to bite. Ooh. Pike. Need that or no? Oh, that's a big one. Whoa! Yeah, it's at 67 degrees right now. Pikes, oh, pikes are hungry, dude. Oh, that's a fatter one. You want a photo? So, so far, I think we uh, we met the curse of the pike. A lot of feedback I got from people after my uh, first video of those who came out here and tried after the video, they said it was Pike City. So, 
I guess this is what they were talking about. It definitely is pike everywhere. Mr. Pike again. Just the pikes everywhere. All right, guys. So just got that second pike on this cool bream crank. Oh, another pike. Or is this a bass? Oh, another pike. See his long body. He is nice, long body. Okay, so now third fish on this guy. Okay, as I was talking about that third one, I got this, I mean the second one, now I got this third one. Hold on, bud. Oh my God. Again, as I was saying, Got that second one, now I have this third one. I'm trying to get this guy off. So we can be on our way. Sorry, bud. Your lips can be all messed up. Okay, there's another one. Go away, buddy. So, as I was saying, this is the cool bream crinkbait from realdistractions.com or Real Distractions on Facebook, R-E-E-L, Distractions, with the S at the end. And they do have different colors, like I showed earlier. The one I'm using is just kind of, um, I don't know if this is a white perch or crappie, but this is the one that I so far use and caught those three pikes on. They have different colors too. Sunnies, looks like bass, sunfish, look like maybe green sunny, but different colors. They have different patterns and stuff on their site, so be sure to go check them out. And uh, yeah, pretty cool to get on some action with uh, some cool looking cranks. So we are running out of time here. Not much sun is left here. Two days, the first day of fall. And that usually means our sunlight is about to be gone. So, I'm going to rig this back up again. And uh, I'll see you guys in a second here. Alright, so as you guys can see here, our sunlight is disappearing. Uh, I'm not sure how the video quality is now with this lower light. But yeah, we're going to briefly try here again a little bit and see if we get any fish. Ooh. Look like it, he launched pretty high. Did he? Two, three pounder? Oh. Spike, spike. Yep, another pike. This guy. These guys are not messing around. Oh, okay, easy release. Nice. So Kyle just lost a nice fish there. And I just got one there with the easy pike. Again, no, don't be a pike. Yep, pike. Oh my god, these snakes are everywhere. Fish. Okay, another easy release. All right. The wrong fish, though. These are not the ones we want. Come on, Mr. Bass. Where are you? Fish? 
<laughs> or weed. Oh, another bike. There you go. Catching them like sunnies now. <laughs> Just the wrong guys. Okay, good. Easy release. Okay. What the heck? Oh, they got a little bass now. Finally got a bass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got a bass on this cool green crankbait. Oh, I'm gonna catch Mr. Cow here. Cool little dinker guy. All right, so at least got one little bass. We'll keep going. All right, guys, I think that's gonna conclude today's video. Uh, most of the fish I caught today, especially all those pikes, was, was from these cool bream crankbaits from Real Distractions, R-E-E-L, Distractions with the S. You can find them on Facebook and they also have their website. So realdistractions.com. Uh, they're $28.99 for a pack of five. You can have uh, all the same colors or different colors. You could choose, select them on their site. And again, they do have different types of lures and all kinds of, um, you know, cool stuff on their site. So be sure to check them out. And uh, yeah, we'll see if I can get some more fishing out this week or so within, you know, the next two, three weeks. Uh, it's just about to be the nice time, but, you know, it's, it's always busy. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video, short, quick video, and then uh, we'll see you guys. Till next time, peace.